No, you know, I wasn't surprised by Monday's market correction. I, I think there's room for more economic growth, but not at the pace and the level that we've seen this past year. You know, the potential evergreen default and um, the potential uh, contagion effect just kind of had market disruption. But I think that was more out of fear. Uh, my concern was that Federal Reserve uh, tapering timeline and what we would learn there. So I think the message uh, came through and the markets were kind of accepting of that uh, accommodative message. Um, so I, I think, you know, for me, I, I, I foresee more corrections like this, um, um, more volatility. And I think the last time I was visiting with you, um, I advised investors to really just set stakeholder expectations um, because we can be or would be um, in for this bumpy ride, which I think we saw this week and we will continue to see uh, rides like this. Angela, it's Morgan. As you're rebalancing assets right now, um, there's been a lot of back and forth about that Fed meeting and some of the comments we got from Chair Powell as well about just how hawkish it was. I mean, the bond market, you could argue, took those Fed, uh, those Fed forecasts and some of the comments as potentially more hawkish. Um, what is your, I guess, what is your outlook now for rates, how quickly they're going to rise, and what that means in terms of how you are making investments? Well, I, I think we were, you know, a little fearful earlier that the rates would continue to rise and we would see that impact to our fixed income portfolio. But um, it continues to kind of moderate. So we're not looking at it too, um, too hard. We're, we're really just, you know, as a long term investor, we're looking at this as really short term market movements um, that we'll continue to see, um, you know, like this week. Um, and I really don't think it impacts our long-term performance or our goals. We can digest slow, steady returns, um, slow, steady growth, um, moderation in the, um, the interest rates. Um, and we can withstand any um, many market disruptions as we have over the time because we have that luxury of time. So I think we will continue to manage the portfolio to a strategic asset allocation policy. Um, with the goal of diversification and a disciplined rebalancing process. And right now, we are currently rebalancing our assets um, and moving closer to our target allocations um, that were approved last December. Finally, Angela, earlier in the week, coming off of the Monday sell-off, uh, J.P. Morgan looked at some outflows. Uh, they said Monday outflows of $11 billion was the biggest on a down day outside of expirations for the year. And they said, unless we get good reversals, which we're still looking for, uh, it might mean that the buy the dip mentality is over. It sounds like it's not over for you. Yeah, I don't think it's over. Uh, I, I don't I don't mean to be uh, disagreeing, but uh, I don't think it's over. I think sector rotations are healthy and and hopefully will lead to a less concentrated market. Um, I think valuations are high and the market, you know, and will remain high until the market broadens. So, you know, those are some things that I think are happening. And I think it's kind of healthy um, for us to kind of have those reset moments when there's opportunities to buy and our managers have the opportunity to kind of buy. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.